Hi everyone, welcome to something a little bit different this time. I'm hoping to get your feedback on something. One of the main core elements of Gearblocks is the building game mechanic, and it's an area I'm still not really happy with. I think the builder tool user interface is too clunky and awkward to use, and it presents too steep a learning curve to new players. However, I've struggled to think of how to simplify the UI without losing the flexibility of the current system. So I decided to go back to basics and just look at the way that parts are positioned and orientated to be aligned together. For now I'm ignoring part resizing, which I think might be best to separate out into another tool anyway. First, let's look what I think are some of the problems with the current system. So as you probably know, first, before we can attach parts together, we have to freeze one of them. Which puts it into a kind of build mode, if you like. Um, one issue with this is not really obvious uh, that a part is frozen necessarily. It might be better to make this kind of translucent. Um, so I might have a look at doing that. But anyway, assuming you've figured out how to freeze a part, um, the next step is, is okay, how do I attach another part to it? Um, so let's say we want to attach this beam. Uh, one of the first awkward things is this kind of tumble rotation scheme. Um, it's kind of awkward. It is a bit tricky to get parts orientated the way you want them. Um, so maybe there's a better way to do that, I'm not sure. But let's say, for the sake of argument, you figured out how to orientate the parts roughly where you want them, and you want to attach them together. The problem is positioning parts for alignment is not really that obvious. There's no indication of what to do. So intuitively, it kind of looks like you're supposed to just sort of attach the, you know, or position rather the part like that, because you want to attach it to the end there, say. But that's not actually what you have to do, of course. You have to move the cursor over the um, attachment point. And I just think this is not really very good UI. It's design, it's kind of, uh, it's yeah, it's non-intuitive, it's non-obvious. Um, and then once you've aligned a part in the position you want it, rotating it is awkward as well, because you've kind of got this two, you're rotating around two axes at the same time. So it just becomes a little bit clunky and weird. You know, if you want to rotate around the axis of the alignment, say, you, and you know, you hold down shift and right mouse button, you can because you can still rotate around two axes. It just it's just not right. I don't know. It's it just doesn't feel good. So here's a quick prototype that I hacked together to try out a slightly different approach. So as before, you still freeze the part that you want to attach to. But now when you highlight a part, you also highlight the different uh, various alignment grids on that part. And I've got it so you can either toggle between highlighting front-facing alignment grids or back-facing alignment grids. So let's say we select this object. And you can move within the alignment grid that you've got currently selected. And I've got it so that you can cycle between the various alignment grids. Uh, I've got that bound to E and Shift E to go back and forth between those at the moment. Also, when you select an alignment grid, it has a little arrow on there to show the sort of direction of, uh, of the surface alignment is going to face towards the other part. So say we want to attach the end of this beam to the other beam over there. It now doesn't matter what orientation this thing is. Once we uh, align it to the, to the other part, it's going to always face that way. While we're aligning, and if we want to rotate the part, we can do that, but it now only rotates around the alignment axis. So you don't have that kind of awkward tumble rotation. And actually, it's probably possible now to just even replace this with you know like a key press or something to cycle through the four available orientations in this case which might make it even easier to use I don't know but the thing is is that now it's kind of a bit more obvious that okay you know I select this alignment grid here that is the point at which it's going to align to the other part um, and again, you know, attaching this e the, the, to the end here, that is that is the point I've got selected there, and that's where it's going to align here. So, I don't know, maybe that's uh, a bit more obvious, a bit more intuitive. Obviously, this UI is sort of very, you know, 
temporary kind of placeholder stuff, but perhaps that's better. I'm not sure. Um, so far, this only works for surface alignments. It doesn't work for interior alignments that are used for axles and so on. But anyway, I'd, I'd love to know what you guys think. How hard was it for you to learn how to build stuff in the game when you first started? Do you think the current build tool is basically okay as it is? Should I just leave things as they are and get on with finishing the rest of the game? Or do you think the current building user interface is difficult to use? Do you think the approach I've shown here in this prototype is worth pursuing? Let me know in the comments or on the Gearblocks Discord and I'll link to that in the description. Okay, thanks for watching.